Hello, I am Sabrina Tedeschi with Bentley Systems. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the new post-tensioned optimization workflow that is now available in RAM Concept Connect Edition. Let's begin this video by discussing the advantages that you will experience while optimizing post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM Concept. Traditionally, designing post-tensioned concrete slabs can be a highly iterative and time-consuming process with virtually an infinite number of valid post-tensioned designs for a given concrete floor system. Variations can consist of different numbers of strands in potentially different locations with different amounts of drape, rebar, and punching shear reinforcement. The post-tensioning optimization feature in RAM Concept uses intelligent search algorithms to compare thousands of design alternatives. This allows you to easily review and compare many different solutions side by side and select the best design for the situation, which will often save you engineering time and produce an economical solution. In addition, the post-tensioning optimization workflow will automatically filter out invalid trials that do not satisfy code criteria, leading you to an acceptable solution without the need for manual iterations. Over the course of this video, we will discuss the main steps in the post-tensioned optimization workflow in RAM concept, including defining the optimizable objects, creating the optimization regions, starting an optimization, and then monitoring and reviewing your optimization results. Let us now turn our attention to our RAM concept model, where we have already created an elevated concrete slab that will be used for post-tensioning optimization. Notice that the latitude and longitude tendon parameters layers are currently displayed in the active window. Before an optimization can begin, the optimizable objects included banded tendon polylines, distributed tendon quadrilaterals, and profile polylines must be defined on the tendon parameters layers. When an object is defined as optimizable, it means that RAM concept can automatically adjust the property values to solve for a valid design and find the most economical solution. To optimize the banded or distributed tendon poly lines, you're going to define their parameters as you typically would when you were designing post-tension concrete slabs using the tendon parameters layers. Once in the parameters, you're going to select your optimization tab and ensure that the optimize checkbox is turned on. Now, tendons can be optimized based on a minimum and maximum effective force or a minimum or maximum number of strands. To go between these two options, you can either select strands or force from the general tab. Once you have defined your tendon parameters, you can feel free to start modeling your banded and distributed tendons on your appropriate la layers. In addition to that, you can also optimize the profile polylines. To optimize profile polylines, you're going to define their properties, select your optimization tab, and ensure that the optimize checkbox is selected. From here, you can enter a minimum and maximum elevation, and these elevations will be using the reference elevation that's indicated in the general tab of this dialog. We will now discuss the second step in our workflow, which is to create optimization regions. RAM Concept has an optimization layer on which optimization regions can be drawn. Optimization regions serve two primary purposes. First, it can break up large optimization problems into smaller parts to keep total solution time in a reasonable range. And second, it can identify a specific part of the floor to be optimized. If any optimization regions are drawn, only the objects within the optimization region will be optimized. If no optimization regions are drawn, the optimizable objects in the whole slab will be optimized. For this particular model, we have not created any optimization regions. 
To create an optimization region, you can go to your layer specific toolbar and select the optimization region icon. When you create an optimization region, you will be able to see the number of optimizable objects within that region. For example, if I were to create an optimization region for the entire slab, I can create it outside the slab boundary. When you create an optimization region, you can review the total number of optimizable objects within your slab. Now it should be noted that the number of objects in a single region is limited to 75 with a recommended maximum of 50. As I can see on my screen for my entire slab, my total number of optimizable objects is 34, which is less than the recommended threshold of 50, so I don't need to break up this particular slab into smaller sections. At this point in our modeling process, we are ready to begin our optimization on our elevated post-tension concrete slab. To begin your optimization, you will go to the optimization option within your main menu and select optimize tendons. Upon beginning an optimization, you are going to be asked to enter some parameters within the Start Optimization dialog. Now, RAM Concept has a post-tensioned optimization workflow that will allow you to select better and economical tendon designs, analyzing many alternatives. Since the optimization process requires many trials to be evaluated, cloud computing is employed to calculate many of these trials in parallel. This decreases the optimization computation time and frees up your desktop for other processes. Now for this particular project, I have already associated this project with the Bentley Cloud to ensure that the optimization can begin and the cloud computing is employed. To further control the optimization and the cloud computing, you can enter some key parameters, including your number of trials, your maximum number of iterations, and your maximum ACU consumption. Now an ACU is a standard unit of consumption for Bentley's analytical cloud computing resources. Once you are satisfied with the information that you've entered here, you are ready to start beginning your optimization. Now, as the optimization is running, you may want to periodically review the progress of your optimization. You can do this by monitoring the information in the Optimization Manager. At the top of the screen, you're going to see your scenario table. This table will show you information for scenarios that are currently running, completed, or stopped running during the optimization. Within this table, you will notice that the ACU or analytical compute unit will be reported for each scenario. Now, at any time, you may stop your optimization. You may edit your optimization parameters, including your number of trials or the maximum ACUs to be used, and then you can resume your optimization from wherever it left off. In the middle of your screen, you're also going to see your convergence chart. This will tabulate the total cost for each trial versus the total ACUs consumed for the selected scenario. Three lines will be plotted, the best overall design with penalty for failures, the best overall design without failure penalty, and your best valid design with no failure. And at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see your trials table. This will display the cost information and failure for each trial that is calculated. Now RAM concept will use the cost information and labor information from your criteria menu that you selected. We will now go ahead and fast forward to the same exact model where the optimization is complete so we can review the results of our optimization. 
Now you're going to notice in your trials table that trials are going to be indicated and they're going to be ranked in order. From this area, you can choose to load the best scenario, or you can select which scenario you like and tell it to load the selected. We'll go ahead and load our best scenario. Once you load the scenario that you are interested in, the model can then subsequently be run so that the details of the trial and its associated results can be viewed and investigated. So in conclusion, with a good tendon layout provided, the optimization process in RAM concept generally re results in more economical designs than an engineer would arrive at if designing manually in only a small fraction of the engineering time. It does so by exploiting a much wider array of alternatives and comparing them side by side where the manual design process is limited to only comparing a handful of alternatives due to the time it takes to investigate each one. Thank you for attending this short video as an introduction to the post-tension optimization workflow in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.